Stay on top of stories about stocks that may impact the market or your portfolio today in Stocks Making News. Well, LinkedIn recently reported earnings that beat the street, yet their stock took a big plunge in reaction to some of the news that came out at the same time. Tracy Rannick and Dave Bartosiak are here with me to try to make some sense out of this. So, Tracy, um, stock took a 40% plunge back on February the 5th that erased $10 billion of its market cap. Yet the <laughs> earnings report was good. What happened? Well, it was really about the guidance. So they did shock everybody by um, coming out with 2016 guidance that was not all that great. And some of that is because they got rid of a product that all the analysts and everyone else thought was doing pretty well. So they got rid of that. Mm. And then they are starting to see a little bit of an impact on the talent solution side um, from the oil and gas and what's going on there. Because, I mean, basically LinkedIn, we, we kind of want to put it in with Facebook and Twitter and all of these other social media type of companies. And it is, but it is really... Um, you know, a career type of career placement company. Mm -hmm. But that being said, um, you know, the analysts are actually still pretty positive on LinkedIn. You might not think so. And I know a lot of people get freaked out about valuations. So I brought in estimates. Now, our estimates are a little bit different than what the street has. I think it has to do on this particular chart with the stock options that we take out and that the rest of the street does not. But the trend is still what I really want you to look at here. And you can see it went from 75 cents to uh, way down, almost a dollar changed for 2016. And then also a similar pullback in 2017. You rarely see like this dramatic of a drop off. Mm. And that's what has everyone spooked. Now going off the street estimates with the share decline, they're trading around 30 to 35 times forward. Mm -hmm. That's not as expensive, obviously, as it was before, and um, it does still have growth going into next year. So the analysts actually kind of like it here. Um, I'm a still a little bit of dubious on the valuation aspect of it because I do think we're seeing a reset in all valuations. And um, so I would like it if it got a little bit cheaper here, but LinkedIn does have a unique platform and it might not have as many users as Facebook or some of these other bigger social media sites, but it would take a lot for a competitor to go into that space and try to compete with it. So that's one of the reasons I still do like the name. Dave, shares in the social network have now fallen more than 50% so far this year, and we're only in February, yeah. trending worse than the major U.S. indexes, according to published data out there. So how much further do you think it has to go? You know, that is a <laughs> terrible day. Like, how much worse can it get? Um, uh, the nasty part is, if you take a look at the chart, even after, whoops, even, even after I threw the remote, yeah. even, <laughs> even after that horrible day responding to earnings, that hasn't even been the bottom. It, it, it's still coming down, and today, Wednesday, the, we're in the 10th, 10th now, right? Wednesday the 10th. Yeah. Um, earlier in the morning, it, it came down below 100 in trading today. Uh, now you can't see this on the chart, but we are at like 103, I think it was, by the time we got into the studio here. So, so judging by your reaction and the throwing stuff, it sounds yeah. like the size of the <laughs> stock drop surprises you a little? Uh, it was surprising, very surprising. You know, every once in a while, I like to kind of kind of roll the dice on these, uh, on these um, earnings plays. I know Bolin has a famous one, right, where he hit on Amazon. So I've been looking for these lotto tickets that I could buy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's fun after the fact to go back and look and say, oh, if I had a bought that, if I had a bought that, because I saw that the like the 130 put option was up 131 thousand wow. percent. Wow! So you're talking a 200 dollar bet would have been a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. Um, so you see that kind of stuff and you get all excited. How much lower can it go? It broke below 100 earlier today. I think it could totally feel its way down there. We've got a market rally a little bit on our hands, and it's, you know, it's still at 103. Mm. So um, this might be the new norm for LinkedIn is just kind of flirting with the $100 level. So, Tracy, does the weak guidance in any way reflect weakness in their business model? Um, yes and no. I mean, like I said, they're seeing a little bit in it in the talent solutions part, but... Mm. Europe has been a little bit weaker. Actually, Asia has been a little bit weaker, but it's not 50% weaker. 
it's just that we're getting this reset on valuations and now people aren't willing to pay as much as they were before for the growth. So to me, again, I feel like this is a buying opportunity in a name you might not have been able to buy this cheaply for quite some time. Yeah, Dave, you think so too? I think so. I think it'll turn, you know, I'm on LinkedIn a lot. Um, I'm my, my motto for 2016 is less Facebook and more LinkedIn. And what about Twitter? Um, Twitter is fun. Yeah, we go on Twitter, <laughs> but Twitter is not the same. I guess with LinkedIn, you feel important because you see all those important people out there. I just had to throw that out here in. doing things. Yeah, we just can, because it's you. <laughs> yeah, I do a little Tweedly Deaton, but uh, not enough. Snapchat though, that's going to be a thing. Yeah. But uh, no, I think I think LinkedIn can kind of turn this around. Totally just blown out of the water though on this earnings report. So overreaction in the market, I think. All right. Well, uh, maybe the full story hasn't been written yet on LinkedIn. We'll have to keep an eye on it. In the meantime, if you want to keep an eye on any other stock information, commentary, stock picks, stock picking strategies, get on over to our website, Zacks.com. If you're not there already, a lot of information there that you can link to right off the home page. Link to LinkedIn. <laughs> With Tracy and Dave, I'm Terry Ruffalo.